disease, take that to the bank. If anybody tells you they don't know what causes cancer, I'm telling you right now, it's a cell membrane disease. The electromagnetics, the electronics, the, the, the biochemistry of the cell membrane is defective in cancer cells. If you want to make a cell turn cancerous, mess with the membrane. The membrane's made up of essential fats. Is that another good reason to take your essential fatty acids? You bet it is. All cancer cells have defective cell membranes. And this is why the medical model is so helpless when it comes to the emperor of all maladies, as it's been called. The scourge, the second leading cause of death in this country and around the world. And you don't need a vaccine and there's no cure for cancer. There's no cure for cancer. Joe Biden was on, on the news yesterday or two days ago. I know we can find a cure for cancer. We'll do it just like we went to the moon. And I, I like Joe Biden. I'm not picking on him. But this is the kind of ignorance, we, uh, ignorance that per permeates our, our culture and specifically our medical culture. We think we can cure cancer. We think we can kill cancer. Cancer is nothing more than the end result of a cell that is stressed out. And it starts off at the membrane level. Hopefully you guys are getting the idea that focusing on fats is absolutely vital when it comes to health and wellness and anti-aging and longevity. And this may come as a surprise to you if you're, if you're like me and you grew up in the 60s and 70s when we were bombarded with anti-fat propaganda. It's, it's a little bit less now, I will say. Over the last few years, we've gotten the idea that you know, low fat is not necessarily good health. Dr. Wallach's been talking about that for decades. I first discovered the importance of fat as a skincare pharmacist. Dry skin is a fat deficiency in my experience. I haven't seen any, well, there is, there's a lot of essential studies on EFAs and, and, um, and dry skin, essential fatty acids, but it doesn't matter. I've seen it with my, with my own eyes. I've seen the power of essential fatty acids for treating dry skin with my own eyes. I've seen the power of essential fatty acids for treating eczema with my own eyes. Same with psoriasis. It's amazing for the skin. So I learned about the importance of fats when I started working as a, a compounding pharmacist for skin, a skincare compounding pharmacist. But in the mainstream, it's only been the last couple of years that this fat phobia that, we, uh, we, that we've all labored under for decades has started to disperse a little bit. In the 60s and 70s, it was all about low fat, anti fat, and not eating fat. Somehow that was a health that was the health strategy. That was a major health strategy, not eating fat. In the world of health and nutrition, there are so many different opinions, it's hard to know what to believe. And no health and nutrition subject is filled with more bad information, misinformation, disinformation than the subject of fat and for that matter cholesterol which is a fatty substance although technically not a fat. So in the interest of clarification we're going to talk a little bit about cholesterol and how they relate to our essential fatty acids tomorrow as we continue talking about uh, fats, good fats and uh, skin health. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number, 844-236-6010. We'll get your calls right after this break. Don't go away. Hey, we are back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben, our number, 844-236-6010. Got a couple lines open for you. If you're on hold, hang on. We'll get to you in just a moment. And if you have uh, been... Uh, gotten the busy signal when you tried to call us in the past. Now you got two lines open at 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, the longevity products, or my truth treatments products, you can uh, give us a shout, 844-236-6010, especially if you have a success story. Uh, if you've been using our retinol 5% gel or, or, or our omega-6 healing cream or truth balm or truth serum, and you have a success story, love to hear from you. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised on the program, you can call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. From the University of Alabama at Birmingham, solving the mysteries of fibromyalgia could help patients break free. Guess what? Fibromyalgia is a fat issue. It's a fatty hormone issue. It's a fat digestion issue. There's a reason why most people who have fibromyalgia are women. Anytime, uh, by the way, you know women are more prone towards disease states like Alzheimer's disease and autoimmune disease and multiple sclerosis and fibromyalgia than men are. And there's a reason for that. It's called estrogen. Estrogen is processed by the fat system. 
especially by the bacteria in the gut. If you are a woman and you're dealing with any of these health challenges, focus on your digestive system. Focus on probiotics and fermented foods. Focus on fat absorption. And nothing is as important. There's, there's things that are as important. Nothing is more important than probiotics and good bacteria when it comes to fat absorption, when it comes to estrogen, when it comes to cholesterol hormones, when it comes to producing too, too much cholesterol. And if you are interested in lowering cholesterol, lowering your sugar is the way to do it and lowering your insulin. By the way, it's now coming out that insulin is related to our brain's reward system, our pleasure system. The pleasure hormone dopamine is increased when we eat, uh, when our insulin goes up. That's according to the journal Nature Communications. Problem is, the more insulin goes up, the more our body stops listening to insulin. That's called insulin resistance. And when you're subject to the effects of insulin resistance, your brain will make less pleasure chemicals when you eat insulin spiking foods like sugar, and that will mean that you'll have to eat more insulin spiking foods like sugar. We'll talk about all this tomorrow, and we'll talk about the relationship of sugar and insulin to cholesterol tomorrow as well as we continue talking fats and cholesterol, essential fatty acids, and skin health on the bright side. Okay, time to hit our phones, 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. Let's go to Wes in Idaho. Good morning, Wesley. What's up, buddy? Hello. Hello. Uh, What's cooking? Uh, I have a book here that says uh, too much uh, salt instead of natural vegetable sodium can lead to edema and it says it, it's not salt that we need only we we should only get natural sodium from plants well you know obviously plants are always going to be your best source of nutrition that goes without saying that's 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 just obvious but here's the thing what is salt west you know and what, is it, what do these people mean by salt? Salt's a very misunderstood and misused word. Well, what do you mean when you say salt? Table that, salt? That, that's why I was calling. I don't know. There's okay. uh, uh, Celtic salt. Or... No, no. What do you think of when you hear the word salt? Tell me specifically as a nutrient. Do you think of sodium? Do you think of sodium chloride? Do you think of table salt? What do you think of when you think of that word? That, that chemical word? I, 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 I'm it's not actually... sure. I, it seems like a nutrient. Uh, okay, okay. Well, salt is a, is a generic word. It's like chemical. You know, what do you think of when you hear chemical? There's lots of chemicals. So chemical is a generic word. Guess what? There's lots of salts. Salt is a generic word. So most of us, when we say salt, and even doctors and even healthcare professionals and alternative practitioners and certainly the mainstream press, when they say salt, they mean table salt. They mean sodium chloride. And so we're going to just stick with that for now, but I want everybody to recognize that salts basically or for the most part, are all of our electrolytes. That means sodium, potassium, chloride, calcium, and magnesium for the most part. Those are all salts, and they're all important, incredibly important. And the more water you drink, the more you need them. And this is one of Dr. Wallach's great insights. He calls them, he called them electrolytes, but they're really salts. And we need them, especially for our heart and for our blood sugar. The two leading causes of, uh, or two of the three leading causes of disease, of death in, in this country are heart issues and blood sugar issues, diabetes. So we need our salts big time. As far as sodium chloride goes, yes, obviously plant sodium is more valuable than, uh, than chemical or what's called ionic sodium chloride, but still, sodium is important and chloride is important and that makes sodium chloride very important. Both of them, table salt is important. They do put crap in the table salt, unfortunately, excipients and fl flow agents, et cetera. And so the best way to get your salt, your, your uh, table salt, if you will, your sodium chloride is with Celtic sea salt or Himalayan salt or some kind of gourmet salt. If you use Himalayan salt and you use Celtic sea salt, not only will you get sodium, not only will you get chloride, but you'll get all the minerals from the ocean. Even if it's Himalayan, you'll still get all the minerals from the ocean because the Himalayans came from the ocean. So go with, go with the gourmet salt, and obviously vegetables are powerhouse nutrients. So sodium from vegetables, which is colloidal, by the way, excuse me, colloidal sodium, the minerals in a vegetable are colloidal minerals, that's the way to go. Plant-derived colloidal minerals are the same thing, except they're concentrated, and that's why the Beyond Tangy Tangerine is so important, or one of the reasons. That's why Dr. Wallach's insight was so brilliant. He said that these plant-derived minerals are concentrated sources of the minerals that are found in plants, colloidal minerals, and they suspend in liquid, and they're powerfully electrical. 
So yes, to answer your question, salt is important, and you can't go on a salt-free diet or low salt. You just go nuts, and you'll end up eating potato chips. If you're craving salt, one last thing here. If you're craving salt, or even if you're just tired a lot because of the adrenal relationship between the adrenals and salt, drink Celtic sea salt water. Put a teaspoon in water and sip on it. You won't overdose on it if you sip on it because your body will rebel. It won't let you drink more than it can handle. And guess what? After you do that, you're not going to want your salty potato chips or salty pretzels. You will have met your body's need for salt. That's how you deal with cravings, by the way. You give the body what it wants. When it wants salt, you give it salt. When it wants fat, you give it fat. When it wants sweets, you give it protein. Uh, that's the one exception there. So when it wants sweets, you give it protein. When it wants fats, you give it good fats, essential fatty acids, quality fats. When it wants uh, salt, you give it Celtic sea salt and minerals. Go ahead, Wes. I'm sorry. What, what about something like celery salt? Is that any better than uh, no, that they're all equivalent. I don't, you know, that's a good question because I've heard of celery salt. I don't know exactly. I don't know exactly what it is. I, I, I'm holding a, a little uh, jar of it. And it's actually, a seasoning of some kind. It's like a, it's, it's a type of spice, right? Well, yes. Actually, I don't know what's it in says, it. It says contents are salt, uh, celery powder, and okay. calcium stearate. No, that's no. Don't waste your money on that. Get, there's some stuff called Mrs. Dash's salt substitute that's potassium. And that's good stuff. We tend to get enough sodium. Most of us get enough sodium, but potassium, that's the one we got a problem with. And potassium and sodium have an antagonistic relationship throughout history, throughout our evolutionary history. So, uh, sodium was held on to because sodium is sodium's really important, as impo probably more important than potassium, so the body has a tendency to hold on to sodium. We didn't have a lot of sodium. Throughout history, we had more potassium than sodium. Sodium was in, was in scarce supply. Sodium was considered an incredibly, it was, used for, it was used for money. The word salary comes from salt, sodium. We, people were paid with sodium. Throughout history, we didn't have a lot of sodium, but over the course of time, we, as technology, well, hang on, we'll finish up when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben, you're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back after this. Okay, we are back on the bright side. 844-236-6010 is our number. We're talking to Wes in Idaho. Wes, I don't want to be belabor the point. We talked a lot about salt here in the past, but just to suffice it to say that the more stress you're under, the more you need salt, and you better get your salt uh, one way or another, or you're going to be eating a lot of pretzels and potato chips. That's why you want to hit your salt buttons ahead of time proactively. Anything else you want to say, uh, Wesley? Uh, there's a mention here of a uh, sodium potassium pump yes are, what? You, you don't want to go there you don't want to go although it's pretty darn cool the sodium potassium pump this is a the sodium potassium pump and i i'm just going to be real you know i got a bunch of calls i want to get to us or so just real quickly the sodium potassium pump is the way sodium goes into a cell and potassium comes out changes the electronics of a cell and that's how the nervous system works now I know that was a pretty that was pretty succinct there, but man, sodium potassium pump is really fascinating and really complicated and a little over. Uh, it's a little deeper than where I want to go right now, uh, as far as um, as far as helping people with their health issues because I got a bunch of calls. Anything else, my man? The the book here says that is something that maintains life. This it's true sodium potassium pump. It's true. It's true. One day we'll talk. We'll spend time talking about it because it is ridiculously fascinating. The okay, sodium uh, potassium thanks. pump. Thank you so much, Wes. Take care. Have a beautiful day, buddy. Okay, let's go to uh, David in California. What's up, David? How you doing? Hey, Ben. How you? I'm doing great. What's cooking? Where in California are you? By I'm the way? in southern, up in Lake Arrowhead, actually. Where is that near? It's in the mountains. In the mountains, the mountains of southern mountains. California. It's like east yeah. of east of L, uh, east of east L.A. Of, yes. Okay, cool. That's beautiful. Okay, out there. I have two questions. First off, though, thank you for all you do for us. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that, David. I don't know if you even know. Um, uh, all right, I have splitting fingers, and I'm just uh, the skin is splitting I, the surface of the skin. Yeah. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. That is a classic, classic sign of, of fat deficiency and okay. essential fatty acid deficiency specifically. And now I can tell you to dose with your EFAs and dose with a lot of them, as okay. well as vitamin A, 20,000 IU. But I would suspect that you may have some malabsorption issues too. So okay. see if you notice that when you take your fats, you burp. 
that's a sign. A lot of times people will get feel queasy or burpy or gassy okay. after they. That's a sign you're not absorbing. Um, if you want, you can just take absorption aids with your fatty yeah. with your what would they be? Uh, uh, ultimate enzymes. Specifically, okay. something called lipase, L-I-P-A-S-E, bile salts, and that's B-I-L-E, bile right. salts, apple cider vinegar, lecithin, L-E-C-I-T-H-I-N, lecithin granules, okay. uh, probiotics, good, 